James Held at Eiffel TV and so say Spen TK Global. Quite fortunate enough to be joined by the very talented Sam Maxwell on his third professional win here in Belfast. Congratulations on the win, Sam. Thank you, James. Making a habit of getting these W's, lad, didn't you? Uh, yeah, man. And hopefully I get some many more this year. You know, I want to be active. Mm -hmm. Let's really. talk a little bit about the fight firstly. You buzzed him bad in the first round, dropped him heavy. Did you think then it was an early night for Maxwell? I felt like, yeah, okay, I know I can hurt him, but then I knew like I can't. I felt some of his, he was strong, stronger, like in the weight, if you know what I mean, mm -hmm. not like power, but mm -hmm. weight. And I thought, okay, I've got to be calm and um, not rush in. But I still thought, uh, you know, you get excited, don't you? I know I can knock him out here, but um, yeah, it was just about keeping patience still. I, I got carried away in the second round a little bit and, um, you know, I held my feet a bit and uh, made it a bit scrappy. And uh, someone who's heavier than you, you don't want to be taking any shots. So no. I took a, took a few that I didn't need to take and it's, it's, not, it's no good for you. That over, round, that over eagerness could have caused Yeah, me. exactly. Could have, could, have, could have wobbled me, could have buzzed me. Yeah. But um, in the third round, I got back to my boxing on my jab and I just felt felt really good. Like felt fast, felt too fast for him. And mm -hmm. that's what George always draws into me. He said the speed's the power. And um, so it was my speed that hurt him in the end. We went straight one, two, and then fired a few shots off. It was a good finish for yourself, a bit of a highlight finish to join the real as well. That's yeah. your second uh, KO or TKO yeah. in the paid ranks. So you must be pleased that, as you said, the speed and the timing's working. Definitely, like as an amateur, I had over 100, 150 fights. I don't think I, I must have stopped about five out of all that. And then already as a pro now, George has said, you'll get me punching stronger and, and it's proven the case. Like I'm, I'm, I'm hitting hard a lot harder and a um, lot cleaner. And What's your favorite punch? What punch do you do? Yeah, my straight right, straight right hand, I love it. Straight, one, two, my one, two, like it's known for it. Like it, everyone always says to me, I've got, I've got a great one too, and that makes me want to throw it even more, if you know what I mean? Mm. What's the <laughs> Don't plan? tell anyone though. <laughs> 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 we might have to take that bit out. Just out. What's the plan going forward from here then, Sam? When can we see you back in action? What's going on? Well, I know there's, um, there's a lot from my gym, JJ Metcalf. He's got, he's got some big fights coming up this year. So I just hopefully I can get on some of the shows he's on, because yep. um, he's going places this year. I think this, this is going to be the year everyone finds out about him. And um, you know, I just hope to ride, ride the tail feathers kind of thing, like go on the shows he's on and um, build up my wins that way. And by the end of the year, I want to be in a position where um, you know, I can challenge for some kind of title. I've, I'm, I know I'm at a high level and I just need the, the right opponent to, you know, the right fights to bring that out of me. A lot of people have been ranting and raving about Kid Shamrock for a while, so I'm just interested to see how he develops and if he is, is as good as people say he is. Yeah, he's, he's gone under the radar, he's not been on, on TV much. I, I train with him every day and uh, he's just phenomenal. There's, there's just, just a quality talent and um, I can't wait for, to show, for him to show everyone. I'm excited about it myself. Saw Paddy Barnes win his first title as well in Belfast today. Do you dream of the aspirations of getting to the title and contention yourself? Definitely, you know, um, Paddy Barnes, he's had a massive amateur career with the, with the three Olympics. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I think I, I've not obviously not done the level that he had, but um, I've had a good amateur career, so I know I can be pushed on fast. Like, he's, in, he's had it in his third fight. I might be have it in 10 fights, have a, have a good title shot. And um, it's definitely something I, I, I'm aiming for. And, um, you know, I think I've got the talent and capability to, to achieve. The biggest fan as well, Georgie Boy, Georgie. all right, mate? Yeah. He's been the number one champ again today. <laughs> I, he was telling me to put all kinds of things in my um, wraps, metal things, and Lucas A tops and <laughs> everything. <laughs> Funny kid. <laughs> Give you a bit of a bit of help, you know what I mean? No, he's a legend. When are you out next, Sam? Um, I'm hoping to be out in September. I don't think they can, I can get out again um, before the summer, but I'm, I'm going to be ready on weight all the time anyway. So Will you be training over the summer, taking over in, in, in the gym every week? Every 100%. That, that's what I just like doing. I like, I'm known for it in my gym now. George always says, you know, Sam's always on weight. He's always fit. He's always in the gym. And that gives me pride. I want, I want everyone to know that. So, um, yeah, I'm always in the gym. I'm going to be taking over all summer and just take any fights last minute, anything. So, but I'm hopefully definitely be out by, by September. All right. Well, listen, thank you very much for giving me some time today. Well done for handling being the floater as well. Yeah. Oh. Another box tick for yourself. Oh, yeah. It's number one done. No, great experience there. That's a, a, like you said, a tick on, on a checklist. That was crazy. I've been here since half five or five <laughs> and then a box here at what? What was that? Half 11. Half 11. And then um, some experience. Because I kept thinking, okay, if there's a knock, there's a few knockouts as well. So I thought, okay, I'm, I'm on now. Best get up and get, get warm. And then no. And then um, luckily, they came in about nine o'clock and they said, Sam, I think you're going to go on last. And um, so at least I could just chill out then for the rest of the night. And yeah, I was full of energy by the end. I'm not tired or nothing. So to be honest, it didn't, didn't affect me too much. And it's a, it's a, I've ticked it off the list, definitely. When you're topping bills, you'll appreciate this. This another learning curve, another tip. Definitely. Uh, I think, well, so people say anyway, you probably won't. But on that note, Sam Maxwell, thank you very much for giving up to a bit of time. Congratulations, Cheers, Cheers. Nice one. Good.